videos at nearlyheadless.com. Hello and welcome. In this edition we will be looking at sea cleaner, sometimes known as crap cleaner. So let's get into what this freeware does and discuss some of its features. CCleaner is a computer software utility with many available tools, but its main job is to help you keep your computer light and clean by deleting unnecessary and redundant files. For example, things like temporary files, cookies, history, memory dumps and things of that nature. Now that might all sound a little intimidating if you're not very experienced with computers as you wouldn't want to delete an important system file by accident. However, there's no need to worry as there's the option to choose which files get deleted. So if there's a file type you're worried about deleting as you're unsure whether it's important or not, you can just choose to exclude it from the deletion process and that type of file will not get deleted. Personally, I find that the default settings are usually fine. That being said, there may be a few tweaks you might like to make. For example, you may wish to keep your cookies so that your favourite websites remember your relevant information about stuff like email addresses, passwords and things like that. Another option would be to select individual files and specific website cookies to be exempt from deletion under the options section of CCleaner. Thus deleting all cookies and file types except your specified files and favourite website cookies. Another modification you may wish to make is to uncheck the delete recycle bin option in case you want to restore a file at a later date and instead just delete your recycle bin files manually. Unless you know what you're doing and are trying to delete something specific you will probably find the default options will do exactly what you want of them. Now you may be asking yourself why would I want to delete all these unused files aside from doing it to free up hard drive space. Well, another good reason for doing it is that it can dramatically increase the speed of things like virus scans, as your software doesn't need to spend time scanning unnecessary and unused file types like temporary files for example. As well as cleaning crap out of your computer, CCleaner also has a bunch of other useful tools, so let's take a look at some of CCleaner's other features. Firstly we have the Registry Cleaner which scans for registry issues and errors and attempts to fix or delete them. Then we have the Tools section where we have a bunch of options like a Software Uninstaller feature, the Startup tab where you can choose to stop certain programs from running at startup, thus saving system resources which should help your computer to start up faster. Next we have System Restore where you can manage your system restore points. Then we have Drive Wiper, where you have the option to wipe your hard drive up to a security agency level of deletion, should you wish to. And finally, we have the Options section, which we spoke about earlier. So, to summarise, it's an awesome piece of kit for anyone trying to get their system to run a bit more streamlined, and ditch all those unnecessary files clogging up your hard drive. As aside from the fact that it can seem a little bit simplistic at times, and even though it's unlikely, occasionally some browsers can have random issues with having their cookies and temporary files deleted. In my opinion, this is an almost essential freeware utility, and with all those extra tools bundled in and the fact that it's completely free, I can't think of many reasons why you wouldn't want to give this software a try. So, if you're interested in this freeware, as per usual, all the links relating to this software will be in the description box. I hope this was helpful. If so, please support us by liking, commenting and subscribing. Thanks for watching.